Welcome, my lovely viewers. Today is another day the Lord God Almighty has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad on it. In the realm of the spirit, I saw a guy doing physical exercise using a pump, a pump machine to build up his muscles. You know, yes, exercise is good. Exercise mean, means one trying to get fit, you know, physical fitness for for health reasons, mainly for health reasons, right? To be in shape. But my my viewer, the question today is how fit are you for the race, for the challenges of life? How fit are you for the challenges of life? Today I will encourage you to strive for fitness, fitness that will glorify God, fitness that will give you life and joy, everlasting life and joy in Christ Jesus. We all seek for strength, power, but we know that all power belongs to Jesus and all power comes from God. But Jesus is the head of the principalities and powers. And the Spirit, the Spirit of God led me to Psalm 68, verse 35. His word says that the God of Israel is he that gives strength and power unto his people. Blessed be God in heaven. Amen. There, God is the one that gives strength and power. You know, God is the one that gives strength and power. Child of God, if God is the one that gives strength and power, it all means that we should go to him for him to strengthen us in our situation. Yes, you need exercise. Exercise your faith in who you are by going to God, believing that he will do that for you. Yes, the person on the sick bed, you that is sick, you need physical strength to carry on but the most important one is spiritual strength that god the prayer for you today is that let god strengthen you give you the strength the power to come out of that sickness that's a pray for you today for divine healing upon your life in the name of jesus let the spirit of god the strength of god come into you for divine healing in Jesus name child of God the word of God takes us to Exodus chapter 15 verse 2 his word says the Lord is my strength and song he is my salvation he is my God let God be your salvation let him be your strength in your situation in your every situation that that is troubling you, let God be your strength. Let him be your salvation. Psalm 27 verse 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. And whom shall I be afraid of? If you understand who you are in Christ Jesus, you will know how powerful you are. Yes, physical exercise is good. The spiritual power is the most important thing. My dear viewer, I encourage you today to tune in into the spiritual power of God. He has told me that he is infinity, meaning that his power is endless. His power is unlimited. His power is boundless. So you can imagine what he can do for you. He can go to any length to strengthen you in your situation. In when everything you are going through. Yes, because in the word of God, in Isaiah, Isaiah 41, his word says, Isaiah 41, he says, For I, the Lord thy God, will uphold thy right hand. Fear not, I will help you. In verse 10 of 41, he says, Fear not, for I am with you. I will strengthen you. I will help you. 
God said that he will strengthen you. He will help you in everything you are going through. So you should not be afraid, but only trust in him. Nehemiah 8, chapter 10. The word of God says, For the joy of the Lord is your strength. What a mighty God we serve. Nehemiah is saying that the joy of the Lord is your strength. So seek you this day the joy of the Lord. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength, my viewer. Have joy in your life. Let the joy of God, let the joy of the Lord make you to excel today in everything you are into, in everything that is bothering you, in your children, in your children's welfare, in your marital affair, in your businesses, in your health situations. I pray for you today. Be filled with the joy of the Lord. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength and give you excellence in Christ Jesus. I thank you, my viewers, for listening to me today. May the name of our Lord Jesus Christ be praised forever. He is our strength. Let his joy be our strength today. Let the joy of the Lord be our strength today and forever in Christ Jesus. I will indulge you once again. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to click on to the like button. May the Lord bless you as you do this in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. We'll meet again sometime tomorrow to glorify the mighty name of God. Have a lovely day. Go out there and prosper to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Remember to share your testimonies with us. By your testimonies, others will be encouraged. And praise God with you. Be blessed forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.